what is going on guys politics gaming here and today i am doing the next episode of the islamic republic of iran so today Basically, we are going to um, continue our effort to decrease inflation in the Islamic Republic, as well as expanding our sphere of influence. Basically, um, I am going to continue meddling in Iraq to basically try to shift them into our favor. Um, if um, I am leaning on uh, basically making them um, either a satellite state or basically um, meddling into their uh, political affairs and basically trying to get them into onto our side. We can start um, operations to try and get Saudi Arabia on our side, but they do not have a democratic system, so that would be very difficult, and would most likely require a military invasion. However, Iraq, um, for one, if we do have to invade, then they have a very small army compared to ours, um, so we would have the advantage there, um, as well as that, um, which, I mean, I'm still trying to find, um, information in which I can actually use against the rock, um, however, um, the UN Security Council is definitely against us, and we would not be able to get anything passed through there, um, we have the Chinese and the Russians, but um, we would have to literally get all of the guys who, um, the other permanent members, which is the United States, France, and uh, the United Kingdom, we would have to get them to try to at least abstain. So we have to have our at least neutral, rela neutral uh, relations with them. So, um, we're going to go over here to currency. And we're going to look here. 25% is our inflation rate right now. Um, so we are winning the war on inflation, um, as stated in the last episode, in which we basically um, started raising several different kinds of taxes, including the value-added tax and the company tax and the company turnover tax, which definitely really started to fix up our inflation rate. And so inflation is actually starting to become less and less of a problem right now. However, <clears throat> um, we're going to remain um, with our corporate tax rate or company tax at 30%. Um, and it is almost one of the highest in the world, unfortunately. And that's something that I don't want. We can lower it over time. However, we need to keep um, inflation down. So <clears throat> we also have a we also have a very com comfortable um tax rate that we have with our um with our income tax. Whenever I was messing with it, I lowered it to 30% for the rich, 20% for the poor, for the middle, and 10% for the poor. Um which is a very comfortable thing. So 10% is going from the poor people are going to the government, 20% from the middle class is going to the government, and 30% is from the from them <clears throat> from the uh rich people are going to the government. So that is a very comfortable um tax rate, and I'm gonna leave it like that. Um the value added tax, 20%. Um is an indirect tax on consumption. Its rate is fixed by the state in all European Union countries, and it is proportional to the sales price before tax. Um, which the United States actually has a sort of VAT tax. There's no national VAT tax. It's all collected by the state, um, which is about 8% in the state of Texas. Um, <clears throat> gun revolver, carbines, and all types of shotguns. I think I'm going to... Put this to twelve dollars and fifty cents. You know what? Let's see, 
we can get that to seven dollars. You know what? What if we can abolish it? Nope. An increase of one dollar would bring in a hundred eight hundred and seventy seven dollars in government revenue. So the gun tax is almost useless. Look at that. That's that's in millions right there. So it's not even bringing in a hundred thousand. It's only bringing in fifteen thousand dollars in revenue. If we were to abolish it, it would cost us fourteen thousand dollars. Um, airline tax, we're going to go ahead and increase that to 20%. Um, tax on redundancies is 15.5%. Um, I think we're going to leave that. Let's go to legislation, regular and repressive investment in real estate, $242 million. We're going to do that later because we do not want, um, a lot of growth coming at us. Let's go ahead and look at our farming. Okay, 39. Activity of the country, active is going down. I think that's good if, um, if they're moving on. Working population in the secondary sector. I'm going to go ahead and subsidize a couple of them. Let's go ahead and give this one $30 million. Missile launch, naval construction. Let's go ahead and get naval construction. $150 million in subsidies and an exoneration. Nickel pharmaceutical industry has a... Okay, so let's get rid of that custom duty. Looks like custom duties really fucks up the trade balance. Because half a million, half a billion, in its skyrockets... 18 billion, the trade balance? Holy crap. Let's go ahead and increase that to 70 million. Uh, sodas, silver, satellites, uh, synthetic fibers should have actually been helped because of that uh, discovery that we made. All right, let's go ahead and look at our oil industry. Look here. Oil um, trade balance is going up because we actually have been doing a lot to... Um, we can actually probably make a pipeline. I don't know if it's going to get past Bulgaria. We can make it to... Um, Serbia and Hungary, possibly we can even get over to Germany and sell them oil. Or we can go through Iraq all the way to Egypt so we can get... That would actually be a really cool cool concept. Um, however, I doubt we would be able to get past Israel. Actually, there's a really small passageway right there and we can probably build over that. Let's go ahead and ask Iraq for permission to build a oil pipeline. If we can get past Iraq, then we can definitely um, get into Jordan and um, we could kind of try to narrow, narrow our way down into the Sinai. Because giving Egypt and Libya Oil, that would be very... Iraq has refused construction of the pipeline. Let's give them aid. Give them about $2 billion in aid. 
Okay, let's get them $1.225 billion in aid. Ramadan. Fuel power battery. We're the first ones to met. Wow, we're we're making a lot of advancement into our into the uh, scientific field. Right now, their goal is twenty 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 forty two. Wow, that was for Callisto. They're partnered with the Russians, the Israelis, and the Kazakhs. Here is our Yavan mission with Azerbaijan and Russia. And here is the Sabdul Abdallah to Callisto. We are prepared for launch in 2023. Let's see if we can get it done for the end of 2022. Okay, no, we're, we can get it done in the beginning of 2023, though, right? Cancel. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a five and a half billion dollar thing. There's Venus with who is that? Is that uh Belize? No, that's not Belize. Oh, that's Bolivia. Can't even see that. <clears throat> we can probably get a mission over to Venus. This is a problem that I see, honestly, is just, like, this is incompatible to, like, if it starts off in the, in the several hundred millions and it's not in the billions, um, it, it does not want to switch over. So this makes it, like, just looks really weird. See, 1.8 billion right there, 3.9 billion, 1.5 billion, especially whenever you start funding the living hell out of those things. They really don't want to do that. And Eversim, if you watch my videos, please fix that. Let's build a bunch of hospitals. This is not even for popularity. This is literally because we need to advance our medical technology. And we have the money to do it. Let's also build a, hundred, a lot of... Uh, Maternity centers too to try to get our uh, birth rate up. Here is our growth forecast for the end. You are and quarterly has risen four percent. Right. Justice and justice for all. Uh, we are nearing a one trillion dollar economy. We have seven nuclear warheads. Okay, so I think that aid really liked, they really liked our aid package. So let's go back to them and let's ask to see if we can build an oil pipeline. Fuel is going down, except our sales, trade balance is going down, but our sales and profits are going up along with our productivity index. Our income tax also is going down. I don't know what's giving us so much money. I know it's not the growth. Growth is 7%. We can keep it right there because I think that's a healthy... Um, healthy sort of a thing. Looks like our inflation rate's stagnating around 25%. We're going to have to increase more taxes. Um... See if we can put that up to 0.4. Okay, we can go, let's go for 0.6. Okay, let's go for 0.5. Let's go for a TV address. And we got 56%. Yeah, I mean, it goes after uh, 
the, what do you call it, um, speculation. But what it really does is that it actually um, attacks growth. And it's a really, really good way to attack growth. All right, we have a new goal for our army, about seven to 800,000. Okay, we're starting to see a little bit of a bug. I really hope my pie chart doesn't start fucking up. I think it's because health and social security is start starting to eat up more of the... Uh... All right, Iraq is a... Iraq... Um, didn't like that, so it's right there. Diplomacy. Yeah, most of the, most of that money's going to Iraq. Um, let's go to AIDS. We are receiver. Total public debt. Oh yeah, we are close to uh, paying off um a, the rest of our debt. Watch out for growth. Purchasing power limits them buying basic necessities and stores are far from making money. Is therefore the economy will see that will set the pace. No doubt that it would be good to stimulate growth while improving the household purchasing power. <laughs> well, you already have a lot of consumption right now, so we're trying to get our currency. Okay, so it looks like that our... Uh, Currency is starting to go down. Let's go ahead and see the exchange rate. Exchange rate starting to go up. Long financial transactions. We have enough bullying as it is. And so we're going to go over here to Secret Service. We're going to go over to... For one, we're going to... Try to see if we can put anyone else under surveillance. Yeah, we have a lot of people that we can put under surveillance. And... I'm also going to put a couple people in the country under surveillance. Let's see. Nope, nothing. Exterior, let's look. Yeah, let's put you back up at 20. Approach political parties, cyber attack preparation. Let's go ahead and do a cyber attack preparation. Approach political groups. What else can we do with you? Um, we can actually approach terrorist groups and we can destabilize Iraq. I mean, we can launch cyber attacks against them, and without even having cyber attack preparation, I mean, we could. Um, which I mean, once I once I get in contact with a with a terrorist group, um, I'm gonna switch it back over to cyber attack preparation. What we can really do is uh, start preparing to meddle in their election. Because you're... Wow, never mind. Oh, next election, 742 days. He is a conservative rightist. So we have seven nuclear weapons. We can probably get that up. To around huh. Ukraine has nuclear weapons too. So I guess if you ever want to invade Ukraine, always spy on them because they're always going to try to get nukes. Um, we can reach for more nuclear weapons in North Korea. Let's look at you. Independent movement. Iranian National Shiite Party, that was the old party that we used to be in. Change the length of Parliament's term. Let's look at our education. Higher education students, 58 million in Canada. Let's 
six thousand out of every hundred thousand. Four thousand in the United States and Iran three thousand out of every one hundred thousand. For one, we actually need to build more universities. You know where we're gonna build this in Yazd. And then this one we're gonna build in East Azerbaijan. We're gonna build it all the way up to 15. We're gonna build another one in Tehran. And let's go ahead and build you in Hamadan. Max school age, 106 days for school vacations. Let's go ahead and build 90 higher education centers. Nah, never mind. And I am going to give a rock more aid. So let's people are not liking my public finances. Once we can get them to accept it, that's whenever I will just cut the aid. But if they if they get pissed off at us, they could definitely cut off. Um, actually, it'd be, it'd be a lot more expensive. But we could go through Turkey, go through um, Syria. Oh wait, like the entire northern part. Yeah, that's it'd be more cost effective to go through Iraq. Go ahead and put you at 625,000. And religious holiday, appearance for the president. Our network. Our network has been partially disbanded. Our OPEC is increasing their prices to $54. So that's a little good. Um, Whenever I don't I don't know if um if my contracts actually um really adjust to that. That's probably why my things have actually been going up and down, and that's why my growth is all over the place because I have these oil contracts that have act the, the price has been fluctuating all the time, unless it's at a fixed price whenever you sign the contract. Ah, uh, man. Mock's the head of government. He's a communist. We can jail him. Um, let's go over to elections. I could have elections every two years. Wait, when's presidential elections? So it would be set two years from now. It would st still be 2022. The next one would be in 2024. How long is a head of state's term? Four years? I think two years would be cool. I'm going to hold that up to a referendum. Yeah, it's just 65% of the country thinks that we should do that. So, we could actually have midterms. Hold it similar to the United States. Then, uh, so every two years we would actually have to worry about legislative elections, then 
every four years around the time whenever there's a presidential election. Iran is a model convert over the Eastern Confederation of States. Economic aid reaffirms strong link between both countries. I think I can probably try to see if I can import some stuff from Iraq, try to see if they can like me more. Cement, cereals, uh, clothing. Yeah, like we can buy clothing. Yeah, no, we're dealing with this. Currency, 24%. Um, agreement negotiation. Just do you see that the price dropped? One oh five. One oh five. One twelve. One twelve, one twenty. Let's see if they can accept that. All right, they accepted it. So we are now importing one hundred one hundred eighteen million dollars worth of clothing from Iraq. So hopefully, this actually improves our relations, and um, maybe we can look at. Turnout was high. Turnout was high, nice. All right, so let's look at Rock and let's check our relations. Still only one. Let's check this. So this is the parliamentary election held in 2018. President's party does not look good. But their presidential election is coming up in 722 days. Ours is coming up in almost a year, almost a year from now. So once we win that presidential election, um, we can actually start focusing on screwing at the rock. Six agents eliminated. All right, let's go here. Let's go to currency. So almost 23%. So we're definitely winning the war, the war on inflation. Okay, so let's come over here to energy. I'm gonna see what I can do here. Go here, no. Really. Energy. Authorization. Let's ask Turkey. I know they're going to accept, so let's ask also Syria. And let's ask Jordan. And then let's ask Egypt. So let's get all of those applications back in. And... Again, I would really have to wait for Iraq. Wait, what? Jordan refused and Syria refused. Oh my god. Damn it. What's our relation to Jordan? Oh, negative five. My relations with Egypt. Fifteen. So if I can get Iraq and Jordan up to fifteen... So let's look to see what our map looks like. Start building a pipeline. This is what it looks like right now. If I can get again Iraq and Jordan, 
I'd be in the clear. I could build a smaller pipeline to Azerbaijan. No. Oh, I could build a small... Yeah, I can build one. Turkey, let's get one going to Turkey. You know what, do they even need oil? Let's look. Oil, 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 oil. Yeah, they need oil. Alright, let's get a pipeline constructed. I'm gonna give it complete and full funding. So, let's go here. No, that's gas. Okay, start building a pipeline. All right, so... Forty people every um, mile. Labor by miles forty. Okay, so here we are. One point five billion dollars, four and a half billion dollars over the next five years, and that project is under construction. So let's see what our next debt payoff is going to be. Or at least surplus, $25 billion. So the rest of that is actually going to be going into our treasury. So we're going to go ahead and skip to the month of June. And here we go. The construction site, which is really comprised of several small sites. All right. Um, we got that pipeline under construction. And um, does Egypt even need oil? Like, would this be even be a good investment? Oil. Assumption. They need a little bit of oil. What about gas? Uh, they're already good on gas, so I don't think it would be good to go after a thing with... Uh, I mean, it would be more probably better to go after... Um, so we can go ahead and cut all that aid to Iraq. Suppression of economic aid, yeah, right. So let's look at you. Economic. Still, you still like me. Alright, um, probably would be better to go after something for China. But only way to get in there is through... Pakistan. Pakistan doesn't want to do anything. I could definitely get a pipeline in. If I could get through Pakistan, let's actually check Pakistan. Nope. We'd have to meddle in their elections, too. Salary increase. Alright, so our inflation setting 23%. Alright, um... So, let's go through here. And let's go to the 30th. No, not yet. And let's go to the 31st. And let's go to June 1st. We have now paid off our debt. Oh, crap. That was in July. When is it? Yep, 7-1. Crap. I was thinking a little too far ahead right there. Kurdish terrorist attack imminent. Okay, let's go over here. And we have everyone actually under surveillance, except these guys, unfortunately. 
talk to his brother about suicide. Telephoned his brother about suicide. Let's proceed with an arrest. We've proceeded to Got it. The arrest is so All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's go to birth rate. Birth rate is actually going up because we built all those maternity hospitals. Huh? It happened anyway. Wait, what? Invaded last night a concert hall. Our special court forces quickly intervened and there were no victims. They were all stopped. We were lucky. We succeeded in capturing the right hand man of the Kurdish resistance as leader. Renaissance. It's a hard blow, but for us it's a big success. Yeah, this is indeed a hard blow to the organization which had engaged several methods in this operation. Population growth is going up. Birth rate compared to the rest of the Middle East. We're higher than Turkey, but less than Pakistan. The Hajj problem and salary increase because of inflation. Um, farming, let's look at you. Active population, exports is going up, imports is going up. It's bad. Huh. That is crazy. I want to take, make sure, well, we're not giving anything. Let's give... All of them subsidies. Fifty million dollars in agricultural subsidies. And let's continue raising taxes. So financial transaction, we're gonna go ahead and increase you to point six. And company turnover, we're going to increase you to two and a half. Even if we invaded Kuwait, there's no, I mean, we would have to occupy this region. You have to occupy like southern Iraq just to. <laughs> even then, we wouldn't even be able to get in. Look at that. We'd have to occupy like everything outside of Baghdad. Could. Nah. I would have to occupy the entirety of Iraq. Not a bad idea, but. Put this to a good flat sixty dollars. Currency still going down, inflation is going down, that is great. Once it gets below our interest rate, we can definitely lower interest rates. Debt, we're going to be adding $24 billion to our cash surplus and our treasury. Let's go to transport. Let's go ahead and give more funding to air and water transport. As well, full funding for access to the handicapped and full funding to road maintenance. The bill has been voted on and the local... And let's go over there. No. Let's go ahead and put all of this. 
in Tehran. Five miles of that in Tehran. $53 a barrel. All right. Um, I'm going to call this episode in once we pay off our debt. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. Um, what else are we going to do before we end this episode? Soon enough, I'm going to be changing the name of the country, um, like Iranian Republic or the Republic of Iran. Um, I could have a, the leg executive mandate every three years, so it's like every three years or something like that, I don't know. Eh, four years sounds fine. So, the, the next election would be held in... 2025. Well, the next election would be held in, uh, 2020. Oh, uh, yeah. That would still separate them by about a year. Here we go. 28.1 cash surplus and accumulation in the treasury. Fiscal former performance the last quarter created a surplus in the Treasury. Moreover, since we have completely repaid our debt, this amount will perform a reserve in the Treasury, which will be used to finance investments tied to loans or to pay off debts created in a deficit situation in the future. This will accumulate interest, wow, at 10% a year. We have also reported this rise in the Treasury Reserve and debt ledger. So let's look. Here we go. $11 billion has been added into our treasury. So now we can come over here like annual reimbursement well portion finance by the treasury. We could literally finance like partial amounts of the of that, but we're not going to be able to do that. Let's come over here. We're going to possibly make something military. Hang on, let's go to produce nuclear missiles. Um, let's go ahead and push for 20 nuclear missiles. We're spending exactly $20 billion on our military. That's funny. Um, we can dismantle a couple of our... Military bases, because we have a lot of military bases. Oh, it blow up. Eh. The size of our military, like, not that much. All right, let's go to here. Actually, since we actually have $11 billion we can actually spend, let's go ahead and actually invest that into... Broadband. Gosh. Wow. Um, hang on. This one wasn't that much, so we're going to go ahead and go for 10% of the country being um, covered of covered with a fiber optic internet. Um, or, okay, mobile 4G internet. Let's go for 65. Wow, that is expensive. Huh. How much would it cost if we wanted to do this? Okay. Let's go for 10%. $4 billion. That's enough. And uh, we now have $7.5 billion in our treasury now. So, guys, if you like this episode, go ahead and leave a like. And subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Um, I am going to be having... Oh, we just discovered something else. We were the first ones to have this advantage. RFID chips.
wow, we are, we are making very good technological advances compared to the rest of the world. Let's go scientists. We actually have the 0.3% of our population is actually scientists. But we're comparable to comparable more to like um Cuba oil reserves hang on energy I actually want to go start making my country more uh nuclear oh I could I'm gonna kill myself we have nuclear power plants, and I could have been building them all this time. Where are they? They're not producing anything, though. Hang on. Let's go here. Dismantle. All of them. It's going to take... How long? So partial amounts of that is going to be covered by the treasury. And the rest of it we're going to have to pay off. Because we're spending all that money. Okay, let's do that. And then... I can go ahead and put 5,000 people to work to start building another nuclear power, prime, power plant. And we're going to build that outside of Shiraz. Alright. Well, guys, um, this was a pretty eventful episode. Guys, if you like this, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.